Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. Just a reminder to start off this video as SpaceX are planning another Falcon 9 launch tomorrow with more Starlink satellites. As you can see on the SpaceX fans website, the Starlink 4-9 mission is expected to lift off tomorrow at 2.35pm UTC or 9.35am Eastern Time. With the launch coming up at the end of this month, Axiom Space posted a tweet about their first mission with SpaceX. The tweet was about a preview of the first all-civilian mission to the ISS called AX-1. The person who posted a tweet which we saw in the last video asking Musk if SpaceX could send Starlink terminals to Ukraine posted another tweet. He posted a tweet this week with a picture of a truck full of Starlink terminals and thanked Elon Musk. NASA posted an article on their website saying NASA has awarded three additional missions to Space Exploration Technologies Corporation of Hawthorne, California for crew transportation services to the International Space Station as part of its Commercial Crew Transportation Capability contract. The CCT cap modification following the agency's notice of intent to procure the flights in December 2021 brings the total missions for SpaceX to nine and allows NASA to maintain an uninterrupted US capability for human access to the space station. Inmarsat posted an article saying a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket will launch the second in the Inmarsat 6 series of satellites I-6F2 from Cape Canaveral, Florida in Q1 2023. Heading over to Boca Chica, work continues on the new wall at the orbital launch site. Some nitrogen deliveries have been spotted at the suborbital tank farm. Concrete was seen being pumped into forms at the launch site. Here you can see some dirt work going on outside the production site. These crane parts we've seen delivered recently are being assembled. Here's a view of a new booster transport stand at the production site. Work continues on the wide bay in the production yard. SpaceX's oil rig Deimos was seen leaving the port of Brownsville. A Starship flap was spotted delivered to Boca Chica. This super heavy booster upper section was seen moved out of a tent. This new booster aft dome is waiting outside to be sleeved. Crews have continued to work on Ship 22 with engineers seen climbing in the tank. Here's a view of part of Starship 24 currently being stacked in the high bay. Another piece of the Starship 24 tank section is in the mid bay. Yesterday, SpaceX did some cryoproof testing of Booster 4. Taking a look at the Road and Beach closures on the Cameron County website, the Monday closure was cancelled. Some testing was performed on Tuesday and there is still a closure scheduled for today. Also, there are further closures scheduled for tomorrow, Thursday 3rd and Friday 4th for possible testing. As always, I have to say thanks to both Mary, known as Boca Chica Gal and Nick Antsuini for being out there filming the Starbase content. Also, thanks to the NASA Spaceflight team working behind the scenes on their videos, live streams, and other space content. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX Show. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.